Good morning. It's been a while since Felix. It's been a while since I had a video, and um, one of the videos I really wanted to film is a writing video. So I'm starting this massive story that is a high fantasy, and I'm expecting at least ninety thousand words to start with because I know I write very condensed. Um, six parts. So basically. The first part is mostly a opening to the world and, let's say, inciting incident. Um, so it's not supposed to be very long. Ideally, I was thinking like it would be lovely if each part was 20,000 words, but for the first part, I felt like even if it's only 10,000 words, that would be okay because we don't want to drag on too long. I am currently at 6,000 words and my goal is to finish at least a zero, small as zero draft for the, that first part. Really slowing me down. I'm not, I'm mostly a pantser, I'm not really good at plotting, but I know my point A to B, let's say, um, and I just write everything in between. And usually in the middle of a story, I get stuck because then I'm like, oh, I thought this is a big arc. And it's usually just the first twist. And that's my usual routine in writing. That's happened so often. In, in bigger stories. However, this time around, I decided to write it in the table. So I started the first section as book four. So it just marks uh, chapters. So I don't really count that one. The next is the actual words and the scene. The next one is actually what comes earlier when I start writing the scene, uh, is the meaning of a scene or the purpose of a scene. So it's only usually a couple of words to, to know what I want to uncover in the scene. So it almost feels like writing prompts in some of the workshops where you just write in paragraphs almost, you know, to, to that specific goal. And the last one is the terrible one. Um, it, has, is that it has questions, who, where, why, and what. So it's basically my word building <laughs> graph, but basically who, is the characters who act in the scene, where is where the scene taking place, um, and why sometimes add a little bit extra, like if there's a setting going on or something special going on, but sometimes I just leave Y blank. And what are any important objects in the scene? The ones that are likely to repeat or be important to the story. And that's where it gets difficult because every object or even the place I feel like I almost have to flesh it out for myself before I can actually write it out. Uh, I did uh, change a couple of things while writing already, even though I really flesh everything out. Uh, then I had to come back and just change things about. Uh, so for the what and for some in, the, in between sort of situations, I end up doing some sketching to actually bring these ideas out. So it's a really a mix of my writing regimes because I, I do sketch for children's stories, but I never sketch for like a young adult. It's definitely helped me to like, once I thought it out, to really like be able to describe objects and things around well. However, each part of these, so as I say, six parts, is going to be extra characters to each part for because it's sort of a bit of different location to it and basically i've been drawing so many things and then i had to stop i was doing really well i was doing like in three days i almost done these six thousand words so like about two thousand words a day on the first draft i usually am much better i could just sit down and write the entire thing almost in one go but again i really changed from these days, I changed from how I used to be in writing. I basically just used to pour things in as I get bored. <laughs> but now, you know, as I try to be more thoughtful on what I put in, um, it's really tricky. So I couldn't really progress a lot before thinking out of the map. Of them, were basically main two big, big areas. So I had to think of the map for first one. Now I'm colliding into the second one. And that's where I had to stop because I was like, I haven't really thought that area out. They have very different vibes. <laughs> and I like got bogged down by that detail. And uh, now actually my solution was that I had this other fantasy novel, which was 90,000 words, that feels like it's in a similar world, like 
maybe alternative similar world or or historically later world, let's say. But basically now I feel like I can get some of that basis from previous book and carry historically or make sort of a similarities carrying into world building for this other area. Helped quite a bit. So I sat down, I sketched some, you know, houses. <laughs> I sketched some things that should be in that area. I started thinking of a plan, of a map. And the thing is, like, um, I only put, like, few objects in that map. And I'm happier now because I think I can grow around and I can adjust as I go. But I just have some pointers. And honestly, this will take, I was estimating it will take, like, possibly even a couple of years or something like that. But it's just so, so slow. And I do get bored with not my story currently but I mean I do get bored when something is taking too long and I might drop the project and that's my fear because I'm only in the first six or even you know eighth of a story um and I'm already bogged down but I feel like once I flesh out a lot of other details it's gonna be more of a just using the same details hopefully but here we are sorry for such a slow slow introduction into what I'm doing currently but that's how I am writing the story. You are welcome to join me writing. Uh, I This morning I already started with a Patreon stream drawing. So I feel a little bit tired already. But hopefully we can either reach 10,000 words or finish a zero draft for the first part. As the second part opens up, I have to do more research. Hello again. So basically, I managed to get a thousand words in about an hour. Um, sorry, in about two hours, but in the middle, in the beginning almost of it, I was distracted by my mother who phoned me and I was like, yep, priorities. I need to speak to my family. I haven't spoke to them for a long time. So I did that. But regardless of that, I managed another thousand words. I do want to make a break. It could be sometimes when I make a break, you know, it takes a while for me to get back into it. But I also feel like having a break on each of the bigger scenes is helpful because often we will be very different. So it's helpful to sort of refresh my brain. So the difficulty with writing this was also was a lot of unpleasant situations where I needed to go in. And I just found it really like difficult to get in all of these things by myself. It's been a while since I wrote something negative rather than just positive. So it's a bit of a stretch on my brain. Hello. I look absolutely dreadfully tired, but basically what I wanted to say, I managed to reach 8,600 words. Hello. Um, well, last week I tried, or week before, I tried to film this video about me writing and trying to finish a first part of my novel and the goal was to write at least 10,000 words draft and I never really reached 10,000 words. I'm very close to it. A lot of things happened. So there were like two big issues that my related to my day job and so on. Pushed me into my anxiety again. <laughs> Let's say that's the easiest way to say I was, had the entire rant. Not feeling greatest and so on on my stream this morning. And I don't want to be as vulnerable again as I was, but I later, I did this little um, clay figures, which are uh, probably okay to start painting. And then I made this, which I wanted to use as a palette and, you know, um, and make it into this strawberry. I made some flowers. So basically <laughs> what I want to say, art is my shelter, absolute shelter from stress. <laughs> I I honestly don't know how to like cope with stress in general. I bottle everything up, I think. And I also had been for a dentist today and I mentioned this. 
I grin my teeth too much and I think that's because I just keep the stress and really more than anything but the only way is like ignore my problems and do some art so I done all these flowers today not very happy with them but I learn something every time I do paper flowers and what I want to make something out of clay again but like a vase or something that I can then gift these flowers just feeling like um middle age crisis every time because I'm like am I in the right even you know position am I doing right things and what have I done with my life so far <laughs> that's what happens because of all these stresses really it's not a pleasant place to be